What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number seven. Today, I'm going to show you how to comp your audio. Basically, what comping your audio is, is if you never heard of it, is basically recording multiple takes of the same thing and then taking little bits and pieces from each take and merging into one perfect take. Sort of, it's like a master track kind of. You take little bits in, from here and there, and then you create one nice perfect track. Basically, this is used in music, obviously, to record different takes of your song, and as well in movies to replace dialogue. They will have the actors come into the studio and re-record their dialogue. Sometimes the mic on location was not good, or they had some sound in it, so they had to re-record it. They would do comp. They would comp the audio to basically have the actor record his dialogue to tape, and he would do it multiple times, and they would take and mix and match the best piece to have the perfect one that goes to film. You'll see what I mean in a second. The first step you got to do to make sure you are ready to comp your audio is to select a section, selection or section that you want to want that you want it loop so you can keep recording. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my selection. This is also good too if you're recording yourself and your microphone is in another place other than your computer. This is kind of a good way to for you to press record, go over to the mic and then just have it loop and keep singing the same thing, keep going over the same thing until you feel like you have enough material to edit with and work with. And you go back to the your workstation and you go and work. You don't have to keep going back and forth. It's all going to be in one spot and I'll show you right now. Enough of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and press record and let's get to it. Hello, my name is Adam. 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 All right, so there you go. There you have it. I just record multiple takes of my voice. So let's go ahead and take little bits and pieces from each one and stitch them together. And that is called comping our audio. All right, so let's go ahead and listen to the different takes that I did over there. Um, basically, to bring up all the takes that you have just recorded, you can either double click on the audio or you can hit this little arrow that is beside your track on the top left hand corner and you bring it down, you click it and it will come down. So let's go ahead and click play and listen to different takes. Basically, the one that we'll be playing is the one that is selected in your section. So if you want to listen to different takes, just click on one of the takes and you will listen to it as we play. So I'm going to go ahead and switch between the takes and yeah, and we'll edit from there. Let's go ahead and hit play. This is the first take. Hello, my name is Adam. Second take. Hello, my name is Adam. Third take. Hello, my name is Adam. Fourth take. Hello, my name is Adam. All right, so just follow me along here. Let's say I like the way I said hello over here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the hello. And what that does when I select one part of a track that I recorded, basically what it does, it brings it up to here. And this is going to be my master track now. It's not going to be any more the single track. It's going to be my master track. So when I do a selection, you'll see a little, let me just zoom in here. You'll see a little line here that shows you that's where my edit is made. And that is my master selection that I'm going to be choosing because, hey, I like the second time I said hello. So <laughs> that's going to be my master hello for the track. Let's go ahead and find the good uh, my name is voice. And let's say, you know what? I kind of like the way I said it in the third take. So I'm going to go ahead and select the third one. So now I got the hello from the second time I recorded. The my name is from the third time I recorded. And let's put from the first time, Adam. And now I got the first time I said Adam in my master tracks. So let's go ahead and hit play and you'll hear that it is picking up these three phrases from the different tracks up here. Hello, my name is Adam. Adam. Hello, my name is Adam. Adam. All right. As you can see, I left a little space here. I didn't need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit this and bring it to there. So it's a little bit cleaner. Let's go ahead and oop. And I have this sexual selection over here. Let's go ahead and hit play. Hello, my name is Adam. Hello, my name is Adam. Good, right? All right, you have a little selection in there that kind of is hello, my name is Adam. So it kind of overlaps my audio right there. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that section out so it mutes in the master track. So I'm going to go ahead and hit escape, bring in my scissor tool, and I'm just going to cut it out because, well, 
I know I don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to cut it out. And it's gone, and now in my master track, it'll be sounding a lot better. Hello, my name is Adam. Hello. All right, so there you have it. This is how you comp your audio and music and fill in and whatever. This is how you do it. You sell out a slot. You set a selection of the part that you actually want to loop back so you can keep recording. Just let it loop, create the audio track, and just let it loop as you record yourself or record someone. And then when you are done recording, Logic will automatically give you the different takes that you have taken. And then basically just go through the audio and select the selections that you want. I'll do it right now quickly again. Just click in it and you will go through it all. And let's go ahead and hit play. I just changed it again. Hello, my name is Adam. Very simple, very easy to edit your takes right now because, well, everything is right there under you and you hear all the takes in a row. You don't have to keep creating different tracks or creating different uh, sections of the song just to record multiple takes. Everything is right here. So now when you're done comping it, you have all your takes over here if you ever do want to go back. And you just go back, you click the arrow. Everything's nice, clean, under one track, and you're ready to go mix about your day. So that's it for comping your audio. If you have any questions about that, you can let me know. I'm Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Remember to rate, subscribe, comment. You know the drill. I'll see you soon, guys. Talk to you soon. Later.